Graphing straight lines. When we go from a rule to a table to a graph. The rule for a line is an equation that shows the relationship between x and y. Now I don't need you to be able to get a rule from a relationship, but sometimes it can help us understand. So for example, if you're late to class, for every minute you are late, I'll keep you in for three minutes. Now, how long you're kept in depends on how long, how late you are. If I sit in it, so we always make the one that depends the y and the other one is the x. And how long I'm kept in, so my detention time, detention time is three times the minutes late. Now if my detention time was y, then three times x minutes late would be just 3x. And this is a rule of a straight line that would show the relationship between how late I am and how much my detention time is. We'll learn how to graph a rule like that. What if you started out with $10, but every time you don't do your homework, you'll lose a dollar? How much I've got? Well, that's $10 minus one for every time I don't do my homework. And if every time I don't do my homework is an X, then the number of times I don't do my homework, what I've got is 10 minus that. So we'll graph both of these rules. Oh, I'll make this a Y. So that's the sort of rule that we might end up graphing. And it always comes from some real life situation. So here's my first rule, y equals 3x. Now what we're doing is, this is a table of values. And a table of values is kind of like a what if table. What if I was zero minutes late? Well, when x is zero, three times zero is zero. I would get no detention at all. What if I was one minute late? Well, three times the amount late, three times x, when x is 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3. So if I had 1 minute late, I'd get 3 minutes detention. When x is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. When x is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. And from a table of values, what I get is a set of coordinates, x and y, which I can plot on a number plane. Plot the point 0, 0. The point 1, 3, 2, 6, and 3, 9. And you'll see that they all turn up in a straight line. When we've got our points plotted, we join them up very carefully with a ruler, making sure to fill the whole number plane, and use a pencil by the way, I'm just using a pen so you can see it, an arrow at either end and the rule that gave us this line we write next to it y equals 3x so you go from the rule to the table from the table to the graph this one y equals 10 minus x well when x is 0 10 minus 0 is 10 when x is 1, 10 minus 1 is 9. When x is 2, 10 minus 2 is 8. When x is 3, 10 minus 3 is 7. Now you can actually see, if you start at 0, the number that's on its own in the rule, for in this case 10, is going to be the y value. And you then as x goes up by 1, have a look at what happens to the y. This is dropping by 1. The number in front of the x, in this case minus 1, is how much the, x, the y changes by every time x goes up by 1. So this is a useful little thing that you can have a look at. Do your table, plot your points, 0, 
10. 1, 9, 2, 8, and 3, 7. Draw a line straight through it, taking up as much of the table as you can, oh, sorry, of the graph as you can. Arrow at either end, and then next to it you write the rule, y equals 10 minus x. Now sometimes we go into the negatives. Here's my rule, y equals 2x minus 1. Start at the zero of your table of values. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. So you see the number on its own ends up where the 0 is. Then go up into the positives. When x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, take away 1 is 1. When x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, take away 1 is 3. When x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, take away 1 is 5. Now honestly, have a look at the pattern here. From 1 to 3, that's plus 2. From 3 to 5, that's plus 2. From negative 1 to 1, that's plus 2. The number in front of the x gives you the pattern for the y. And it's easiest to fill these in just by reversing the pattern. Just take away 2. Minus 3, minus 5, minus 7. Plot those set of points and join it. There's the bells, so I'll have to go. Get this one done on your own.